How's it going folks? This is Wayne Hall, back for another lesson and an amazing tune today, the choral I'm Dreaming of You. I've had a lot of requests for this one. Um, there's no solo involved in this lesson, it's just a chord lesson, acoustic strummy lesson. But I'm going to show you what you could do for the solo with a few sort of embellishments on the chords and everything. And I think it works really well. Great song. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning. And first of all, if you want to put the little bass intro in, I think it, you know, it adds to it. It sounds really cool. So you'd play the 7th fret on the D string to the 7th fret on the A string. So... And then you'd move 3rd fret on the D string to the 3rd fret on the A string. So put that together. Okay, and then the chords for the verse, I'll go over the strumming pattern in a short while, but basically you want an A minor to an F major 7. Or you could do a barred F, but I think the F major 7 with a C bass in. So those who aren't familiar with that, if you take it, Regular F major 7, all you do is move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string and your little finger will go on the 3rd fret on the D string. It just gives you a meteor sounding um, F chord. And I think I've watched the video, James Skelly is actually, he's actually playing that chord. So, so we've got the A minor to the F major 7. Over my heart when it skips a beat Can't feel no pavement right under my feet Okay, so the chorus is a C In my lonely room, a G Now it's up to you if you do you have a four finger G Sometimes I do with the three finger G with my second, third And, you know, little pinky on the third fret on the, on the low E string You know, so that enables you to do this little embellishment by doing a G sus4 by putting your first finger on the first fret on the B string so it's entirely up to up to you what sort of G chord that you use but uh, I'll just use that one for now so we got a C my lonely room G when I'm dreaming F major 7 A minor F and I'm A minor and then there's this quick F Okay, so it's up to you. I think on that one, I use the barred F, F major to an E, or you could use it. That's an easier way of doing it if you're doing the F major 7. You know, if you are a beginner and you don't want to do bar chords, although I do sort of encourage people to, to, you know, to have a go. But if you do struggle with bar chords, another way, if you're doing the F major 7 with a C bass in, you could just take the first finger off and you know move that down one fret and we're doing an E major seven. Okay, so that's another way you could do it, but that's a little bit meatier doing the, you know, for the more seasoned players, I think doing the bar chord. Okay, so I'll just sing that chorus through so you can see how all that goes together. So in my lonely room when I'm dreaming of you, oh what can I do? I still need you, but I don't Okay, we go back into the verse again. Now this verse goes round uh, sort of twice, so I'll just sing that through. So when I'm down and my hands are tight, can you reach for a plan to draw the line? Goes around again. From this pain I just can't disguise. It's gonna hurt, but I can't say goodbye. Then we got the chorus again. And this bit with the F to the E, that goes four times. We've got... And that leads us into the uh, solo. So the solo is basically going around the verse and the chorus chords again. But um, I might do a solo, you know, with a lesson in the future, doing the solo, if people want it. That, but seeing as this is an acoustic lesson, I'm just going to show you a few tricks that you could actually do. So... When you're playing the A minor, it's quite cool to add the little finger on the third fret on the B string, so you get this. And then on the F, you know, you could lift that second finger off, so we get. There we go, the chorus. 
chorus, so we go to C. You can, you know, a little finger on the third fret on the top E string. We go to that G second, third, and fourth finger, so we could add that G sus for us. Okay, then it goes into the verse chords again, so this is a bit of the... just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Okay, so the strumming pattern, it is quite a strange song this, it's sort of driven by, you know, sort of staccato chords. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to apply a strumming pattern on the acoustic, I think this one works quite well, so it'd be a down, 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 up, or down, up, so down, 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 up, or down, up. Every time you play a chord, it's cool to play sort of the bass note. So on the A, the A minor, we're going to hit that, you know, that A string. So up, up, down, up. So bass down, bass down, bass down, up, up, down. Up. Same on the F. So a little bit slower. So we got the bass. So when I say bass, I mean I'm hitting that open A string and then strumming down the chord. So bass down, bass down, bass down, up, up, down, up. And the F. Bass down, bass down, up, up, down, up. And through the chorus. Okay, and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. Like I say, I've had a lot of requests for that song and it was an absolute pleasure to. I'm a big fan of that song. Big fan of the choral. Uh, and if you have enjoyed this lesson, I did do Pass It On as well by the choral if you want to um, check that one out. And I think by doing that, that's what sort of spurned all the requests for this one. This is a big popular choral one. Uh, great, great song. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for the request, by the way. If you have got any other requests, uh, not just for choral songs, uh, 50s to modern day, while I'm an acoustic, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days is on social media, which is in the description, uh, Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, also Wayne R Guitar on Twitter, and that way you can obviously like my page, I'd appreciate that, and you can send me a personal message, as long as it's a nice message, mind, but I do always reply to messages, and... Um, if you put a request in, it might take a while to get the request, but uh, I really do appreciate it. And um, that's what keeps me going, you know, you guys sending in requests. So I really do appreciate it. And thanks for your continued support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed. I really obviously appreciate that as well. Uh, you know, your messages and stuff like that. I know, I know you get, I can't please everybody. I get the odd knobhead, but uh, like I say, you can't please everybody. But I think the majority of the people got a great community. It's just great fun. Free lessons that work well on acoustic guitar, great fun to play if you're in a band or you're a busker or if you're just, just for fun at home with your friends, I think they all work really well. So uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.